This is Rogenex again, bringing you another Blender tutorial. And today we're going to be working in Yafere. But before we get into that, I'd just like uh, to remind you guys that you can find all of my tutorials on bl4n.blogspot.com or here on YouTube as well. And just remember, if you like the video, comment and rate because it helps me know that you guys like what I'm doing and you want to see more of it. Well, let's just jump in. Today, we're going to be working with uh, metal in Yafere and specifically brushed aluminum. Um, and I'm going to just show you real quickly what that looks like. And there's your final result. Now, uh, to get here, it's really simple. Brushed aluminum is a really simple material. First, start out in your image editor of your choice and create a new scene. I'm going to make it have um, 600 by 600 pixels. Just a good nice working area. Um, the larger your map is, the more detail you can have. I'm going to add noise to it. My default is uniform, but I always like uh, to use Gaussian. It's just a different calculation method. And then um, we're going to take our layer and we're going to select everything in it and then stretch it out. And you see I zoom pretty far out and I just stretch it way far up. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us this texture here. This nice lines, vertical lines that are going to be our um, texture that will make it look brushed. The next thing we want to do is offset our image so we can get rid of this crease here so then we can make it tileable. And I'll just use my clone brush and um, clone up in here. And I don't really care how how noticeable it is. It, it's fine um, how it is. Um, so then you can go ahead and save this, but I already have made mine. So the next thing you do is you add a texture to your blender material. So add new texture and then we go into our textures, go to image and load your image. Next you want to change what it's mapping from mapping to color. You want to map it to um, the part on your on your um, metal that'll make it look like aluminum which in this case happens to be our glossy reflection and our glossy color so if we come down here to the bottom of our material we can see what blender um, what blender materials how that gets mapped in to Yafere and we can see that our glossy reflection reflection is in specularity and our glossy color in is in our color specularity. So we click on color specularity and specularity. Hit refresh preview. You can see it being mapped there but it's not being mapped quite right. I'm going to turn on color right now and go to map input. I'm going to map it to a sphere and that should be good enough. Sometimes I map it um, to X, Y, and X instead of X, Y, and Z it just gives it a different stretch over the over your object take it off of color now and um, when you start off this uh, material you want to make sure your diffuse reflection is lower than your glossy reflection otherwise you might get some strange results. So I'm going to do that. And your exponent is what's going to make your um, 
reflection blur. And so if we put this down to 50 and render it, we'll have more of a blur up here. You can see more of a blur. We'll make this bigger. And then if we put this to 100, you see less of a blur. And that's basically your uh, your brushed aluminum. Remember, if you like this tutorial, please comment and rate because I don't know if you liked it, if you don't say, and if you want me to stop, if you want me to do more. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was useful to you and more on the way shortly so stick around.